Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This video is gonna be my November and December empties. Yes, I'm still going through. I, I, I have a list of um, videos that I need to film and updates and all of that. And one of them is my empties. I know we're already in January, quite a bit into January, but I'm here and I do wanna share with you um, how I did for the year. Uh, I was, uh, I joined a couple of ladies here on YouTube and Instagram as well to, um, pan our way to 5k. We, uh, each had a goal or for me, uh, we all had the same goal, which is using $5,000 worth of beauty items, makeup, um, skincare and all of that. Um, I'm actually was very close. I missed it by $240. So my makeup, um, makeup, skincare, anything beauty related for the year um i totaled four thousand seven hundred and sixty dollars i will have the breakdown in the description box how much of it was makeup how much of it was like beauty uh products uh hair care skincare and all that and how much of it was perfumes so if you're interested check that out um but yeah i came very close and i'm actually really really happy with that it's um kind of interesting a little bit eye-opening i did have a goal of finishing two products that were really pricey in in my collection i just didn't do it so it was you know i think if i had finished those two skincare items i would have been uh you know even closer because they were pricey as well but Regardless, we're here. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and share with you all of my products. Um, we'll split it into categories, and then at the end, I'll tell you about a few items that I decluttered towards the end of the year. Um, if you like uh, empties video, please go ahead and give this one a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, and let's go ahead and get into it. All the products I used up. I uh, actually was pretty surprised at the amount of lip products that I finished up in the last two months of the year. But these were products that I worked on the whole year. And then towards the end of the year, I'm like, okay, last push. Uh, sure, I could scrape them a little bit more or take the stoppers out, but that's not happening um, for two of the products, I guess. One of them would be the Bobbi Brown Crushed Liquid Lip. Um, this was in a project, a full year project, and I think it was in the whole, the project for the full year. And this is in the shade, uh, give a fig. Um, yeah, I really, really enjoyed it. I feel like, I, you know, the, with this one, I actually scraped the sides and all that, but I did not take the stopper out. This guy is empty. The second one is by Merit, and this is one of the liquid oils, um, tinted lip oil. And this is in the shade Marrakesh. Again, this was a product that was in uh, Team Project Pin for quite some time. And then with this one, again, I did have to scrape it. I did try to take the stopper out. I actually was able to remove the stopper. But then it was, um, it, it just, I felt like it was leaking everywhere. I put the stopper back and I called it done. So there's that one. Um, from MAC, I did finish this lip balm, you guys. I'm so happy with this one. This is the Glow Play uh, lip balm. Uh, this was a cherry blossom collection. This is in the shade uh, Fleur Welcome. Um, this guy is just gone, gone, gone. Like, that was the most, like, it just, you know, can't believe it. It's so pretty. I got a back to mac it. Um, it's really, really beautiful. I got to take quite a few stuff um, soon to back to mac and just because I did finish some other makeup products throughout the year. So here's that. Um, from Merit, this is one of their, or this is their um, uh, lash uh, brow mascara. I did really enjoy it and I did use it for a long time. This is in the shade black brown. Towards the end is kind of like, again, um, I have to scrape in. It's the dry, more a lot more drier formula. And then I changed my hair color. So the black brown is just too dark for my eyes. So this guy is gone. Um, I do have a little um, setting spray and this is by Smashbox. This is the photo finish primer water. Finish this one. I think this is the last uh, Smashbox like minis I have. So I might hold on to the bottles uh, just because I do like to travel with, with this primer water occasionally. So um, from MAC, this is the little tiny Fix Plus. This I finished probably on travel sometime. Um, Bobbi Brown, you guys, I finished this uh, bullet lipstick. This is in the, the Luxe Lip color and the shade was Neutral Rose. Um, again, this one was just like, there's nothing. This was a huge lipstick for being a mini. I was shocked. 
at how long it took me to finish it but thank goodness that's gone um from vici this is mineral 89 i do like to use this guy as an uh, a face primer so it is in my face primer category i finished this little baby um i have one more mini of these and i have a full size i do really enjoy them like a lot uh, from Dose of Color, this is a liquid gel liner. Um, again, this super dried out. I do have to scrape it. I feel like I've used as much as I can out of it. I had it for some time. This was the Mickey Mini Collab, and this was in the shade Darling. So that guy's gone. Uh, Damn Girl Mascara by Too Faced. I really enjoyed this one, um, but like it dried up too fast and started crumbling everywhere but i did really really enjoy it like i, I was kind of considering like, ah, should i buy the full size i did not uh, i have two makeup minis one is by natasha denona this is the sing glass um hydrating primer serum i did really like this guy um i i really really did it had a very nice uh, glowy part to it um it felt really nice on my skin and this little sample is like four dollars worth this is two mil and then the full size of the product is 20 mil so i'm like one tenth of the full size dang natasha denona um from giorgio armani the luminous silk multi-purpose glow concealer this was in the shade 5.5 which is a little bit too dark for me i did end up using it as a uh, foundation but it's very very concealing so super full coverage foundation it took a long time but that's gone okay uh for perfumes i'll go ahead and talk about those next i did finish kat von d center this was in the the 1.7 I think size um it smelled really good i did really enjoy it was it 1.7 or was this the one i think this is the one fluid ounce um i did really enjoy it from uh, uh ysl the black opium one of my favorites i used that up and then i used uh victor rolf uh good fortune sample really like that one too let's go ahead and move on to actually i do have one more body mist body perfume or whatever um this is by <laughs> bath and body works this is sweet pea forever i am so embarrassed at how old this thing is i finally finished it uh it still smelled pretty nice i did really like the scent um but this is super old like this packaging come on give me a break but yeah that's gone uh let's talk about body care for body care from victoria's secret bare vanilla sun kiss body lotion i really like that scent uh, from bath and body works this is into the night a moisturizing body wash um this is definitely a wintery scent um so it did take me some time to use this this guy up it smells pretty strong um i had to be in the mood for that specific scent uh, from Mario Badescu, I used up the facial spray with aloe, cucumber, and green tea. It took me forever to use up to, um, I will never repurchase, ever. Um, it was kind of like, mm, it lived on my bathroom counter for years. I would use it occasionally, very occasionally. I like the one from e.l.f. a lot more, the um, coconut mist, so, but that's gone. See, I'm telling you, towards the end of the year, I really pushed myself to finish as much as I can to make my goal, but it was a little short. It's okay. Uh, more body care stuff. This is by Lush, one of their uh, fizz balls. I do really, really like those. Um, I used up one of the... This is by Ritual. This was the Ritual of Sakura um, body scrub. Uh, to be honest, I did like the scrubby part of this and um, like it had uh, some sort of oil that kind of really left my skin feeling very nice and soft. I hate the smell, but I used it. Uh, okay, do I have any more skincare? Yes, I do. I have a couple more. I do have this Lila B, a glow cleansing, cleansing butter. This was a little mini. I did pick it up one uh, before I was getting rid of... Uh, Lila B products. Um, it cleansed really well, but it did burn my eyes. Like if it got into my eyes, it, it did burn. Um, not that I can buy it again. From you to the people, this is the Polypeptide 121 Future Cream. I really enjoyed that one, like a lot. I did enjoy it. 
wait i've already like moved the skincare i guess that's fine i don't think i had any more um body specific items um from paracone mt cold plasma plus this is the advanced serum concentrate this was so nice i think this is the last of my paracone mt samples i think maybe i have a vitamin c serum from them but that's it um this baby is so expensive i think it's like 30 something dollars but i it was really nice uh i did use a keels calendula deep cleansing foaming face wash it was nice nothing special about it uh really cleansing uh normal to oily skin i can see it i did need a, re a rich moisturizer after it but again i didn't use it every night so it wasn't that big a deal i did finish up this from uh, Corez. this is the foaming cream cleanser i do like these um occasionally i get them free gift with purchase from ulta i do really enjoy them i did use up a little sample of lancome advanced genifique um i did really like it i have a couple more samples of these so i did really enjoy it um okay i do have this uh clarence double serum double serum eye uh like an an eye cream but it's it, it it was like two little things and then you crack it and you mix it and then you apply it um it was a one-time use so I, I can't tell you if if it did anything it was kind of like okay interesting uh to open and yeah that was actually it was a pain in the ass um from hemp's i do have a sandalwood and apple body scrub this just lived in my travel bag so whenever i kind of like ran out of things or i wanted to use something up i would i used it up um i do have some hair products now from curl smith this is the bouncy strength volume foam this is very protein packed so i felt like if i overused it my hair would turn into straws but if i use just the right amount um and like made sure that i'm not using too many protein products it would work nicely um it did it did take me a really really long time to use this guy up uh because of that like i, I it wasn't something that i needed all the time from wella this is fusion plex shampoo um actually i i feel like i'm moving away from voila i am not gonna repurchase i do have a couple more products like i do have a conditioner like a really big bottle of their conditioner that i'm working on i do have their hair mask but i'm not gonna repurchase the shampoo um i want to take care of my hair better care of my hair you know like i i did a lot of damage with bleaching it so close to so many times so close to each other so you know i'm trying and i found other products that do a better job than this i'll keep testing them if you're interested i'll let you know uh more hair care products this is wow color wow the dream coat supernatural spray i love this stuff uh i don't use it too often because i don't straighten my hair too often but when i do straighten my hair i do use it they say to use it every three to four shampoos so i'm like i don't use it that often again because i don't straighten my hair that often so every time i want to straighten my hair i do use it probably 10 shampoos maybe even more between every time but i like it i like it i have a couple more samples and i have a full size um i do have this oribe mystif mystify restyling spray i didn't get this one i didn't understand it i didn't know how to use it so every time I use it, I feel like my hair is just sticky. So I think it's a user error. Uh, K18 Leave-In Molecular Repair Hair Mask. You guys, I am a huge believer of it now. Um, I started off with this little sample. It came in my Cult Beauty uh, Advent Calendar. I used it right after I bleached my hair the second time. And I was like, oh my goodness. So I did buy the full size of it and I have been using it. Um, the instructions say to use it uh, like six to eight uh, washes every time you wash your hair to just don't put conditioner or anything in it. Just make sure the hair is really clean. 
get out of the shower, put the stuff on, um, leave it for four minutes, and then you can brush your hair and do whatever other products. So you do that for six to eight washes, and then after that, you use it every three to four washes or something like that. Um, I'm on wash number six of using it, and it definitely, definitely made a big difference. Um, I felt like my hair is not as strong anymore. I did trim it like once actually but it's i feel like my curl pattern is returning after the bleach damage um so yeah i really enjoyed it and i think i will be using it for quite some time all right two more products by hum this is hair sweet hair gummies uh they tasted really really good and again these came in my uh cult uh advent calendar one of the days um, I did like them, but I don't know how much sugar is in them. It doesn't say. Uh, they tasted good. I don't know if they did anything for my hair. I always take biotin and I do take collagen supplements. So, mm, um, maybe that's what I should have included. I should have included my collagen supplements since I include my BCAAs and my MTs. Um, I use these when I do work out if my workout is going to be tough. I was trying to take a break from them because I started drinking collagen during my workout, like a collagen uh, protein. So I'm not, I, I haven't repurchased these. This was the last one that I've had, but she's gone. It tasted really good though. Um, I'm going to go ahead and talk about the declutters that I had from the last two months of the year. Um, it just, I, I just need to talk about them and move on. I'm not going to film a specific declutter for them. We're going to go ahead and start off by ABH. This is the Brow Freeze Brow Styling Wax. I did declutter it because it turned kind of milky white and it's supposed to be clear. So I'm like, mm, kind of sketched out. So this guy is gone. Um, from L'Oreal, this is the H Perfect Radiant Serum Foundation with sunscreen. This is in the shade Golden Vanilla. I, I think it's just the shade. The shade was just so wrong that I hated the product. And then the expiration date on it was 1021. I think that's the expiration date of the SPF that's in here because it's like SPF 50. Um, but regardless, I did not like, it was too yellow for my skin that I was time for it to go. Um, from Catrice, this is the True Skin High Cover Concealer. Oh, this was so drying under the eye. Um, it reminds me kind of like of the Hourglass Vanish Concealer. The Hourglass is not as drying, but same sort of coverage, but this is super drying. And I actually used the Hourglass today and I'm like, oh, my under eyes are so dry. They don't feel as good as they normally do. So, mm, but when I used it today, I'm like, damn it, it feels like the Catrice one did. So here we go. Um, I have two um, co co color co two color correctors. One is by Becca. This is the under eye brightening corrector. It's just so old. I feel like now it has the smell of um, playing makeup. So it's gotta go. I know it's like the scent that creams get, but I that's just getting too close to my eye area. And this is from Benefit. I haven't used it in years, but I was always holding on to it because I really, really liked it. I mean, it was the first color corrector I used and now they changed the formula and they screwed it up. Um, this is the Erase Paste and this was in the shade two medium. It's gotta go. Um, years, I haven't touched it, so. From Fenty Beauty, I have one of her kilowatt highlighters. I feel like the formula of these just changed. I did hit pan in uh, this one, but the formula has changed and I wasn't enjoying it anymore. So she's leaving. It's making a funny noise. Uh, Juvia's Place, this is yum, Yummy Yummy. Oh, this was so sticky, but it was so beautiful, but so sticky. It had to leave. Um, from Ciate London, Dewy Highlight, Glossy Cheek Glow, and I believe I decluttered the blush too when I filmed my blush declutter. This was the stupidest product. It was just nothing but a little bit tinted Vaseline, and then when you apply it, the tint goes away, and then you're just stuck with Vaseline kind of thing. I did not like it. I did not like the highlighter. I did not like the blush of these. Yeah. Um, I have a Diva Curl Super Cream Coconut Curl Styler Define and Hold. 
Uh, I think this was the last product from Diva Curl I had in my collection. <laughs> Honestly, I wasn't going to use it, but then I was like, found it and I was like, okay, let's go ahead and try it. I used it the one time and um, it, I felt like my, my curls felt still kind of like st uh, sticky and like overloaded with product, you know, like that feeling you touch it and you're like, okay, this does not feel nice. It's not like soft. It just feels product sitting on my hair. So she's leaving or it's leaving and then the last uh declutter is a lip product this is by laura mercier and this is in the shade uh a la rose honestly this is just not a shade for me so uh i still have my little bin of lip products that i decluttered so i think i'm gonna go ahead and put this in there i still haven't seen my sister-in-law to see if she wants any of them i feel like this is probably a shade she would use um, and that's it, you guys. That was, those were my empties and declutter from November and December, 2022. Whew, I feel so good. Now I gotta get rid of the stuff. Um, thank you so much for watching. I think I will go ahead and actually continue with the 5K challenge next year. I think I can do it. This was, it was really motivating just knowing that I'm using so many products considering how much value I bring in. I need value out. So that was pretty cool and it was motivating. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have a good day. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel before you leave and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.